What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to Tuesday evening's Anfield Agenda News Roundup. Don't forget that France and Spain are taking part in the Euro semi-final tonight at 8 o'clock, so we will not be live for the next couple of days. We will be putting out updated videos like this one, though. And today, we're going to be focusing on a couple of things. Liverpool's search for a wide forward, the next club that FSG are looking to buy, and a little bit of information on Lenny Yarrow and the latest on a multi-club search to try and get that guy over the line, although we all know he's most likely ending up at Real Madrid. So, as I go through all of this and more over the next few minutes, we'd love you guys to let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As you can see, bottom right-hand corner, I also want to give a mention to our Clips channel, which is closing in on 30,000 subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to it, please do. It's where you'll get the shorter form of our longer evening streams and a couple of bits and pieces like that. Some stuff that's made for the Clips channel, some highlights from the best of our watch-alongs and streams and stuff like that as well. So please do check it out. Right, starting off today with that search for a wide player. And last night, just as we were finishing up the stream, we started to speak about Yilmaz coming from Turkey. Remember him from the Euros, the guy with the blonde hair who was making lots of defences work very hard? He was playing through the centre mainly for Turkey at the Euros, but he is a right-sided attacker. Reports coming out of Turkey suggest that Liverpool are in for the Galatasaray winger and the price is around £25 million. Now, I would say take this with a pinch of salt, but the reason I bring it up is, one, it's a link, and two, they're talking about it as a Mohamed Salah replacement. And does this mean that we're finally starting to get an acceptance from the club that maybe we may have to do something with Salah in this window? As we see here, there's no signs of a breakthrough in negotiations about a contract extension, so it doesn't surprise me that Liverpool are at least observing and having a look at the wide player market. Kareem Adeyemi is another name that I want to talk about really quickly. It isn't just ourselves that are in the hunt for him. Florian Plettenberg has confirmed that now Chelsea are also in the hunt for Kareem Adeyemi. We know Chelsea are looking for a wide player. We've seen this all throughout the summer. Everyone we've been linked with in a wide area, it seems as though Chelsea have been linked with as well. Uh, you can go back to the likes of Crescencio, Somerville, Nico Williams and lots of other forwards. This piece here says, Chelsea have Kareem Adeyemi on their list. There's no concrete talk so far on the player side and certainly not with Borussia Dortmund. Uh, there's also no offer and no agreement, said Florian Plett. Everything is in the early stages. If Adeyemi would leave Dortmund, he wants to move to the Premier League. We're, of course, another club who've been long uh, holding an interest in Kareem Adeyemi. Last night when we did the stream, we did a bit of a poll on there asking everybody what their thoughts were. And there wasn't that much appetite or interest in signing Kareem Adeyemi. I think a lot of people felt there were far better options out there in this summer's transfer window. And I kind of tend to agree with them. But, of course, it is new, so we've got to bring it to you. Now, before I move on to the biggest news of the day, which is the club that FSG are in negotiations to buy... I uh, just want to give you a little update on where we are with Lenny Yarrow. So we know that Manchester United today had a bid accepted by Lille, but doesn't really change anything. Liverpool were absolutely willing to match that number as well, but they just want to wait to see what Lenny Yarrow wants. And we all know that his preference is to join Real Madrid. So Eurofoot today said Lenny Yarrow's Manchester United offer has been accepted, a uh, fee believed to be more than 60 million euro. That came from Samuel Lockhurst of the Manchester Evening News, I believe. Next up came Fabrizio Romano, who said, Real Madrid remain very relaxed and calm on the Lenny Yarrow case, even after Manchester United's bid. Real are aware of Yarrow's preference to join them, and a deal will be done this summer at their condition, says Fabrizio, below €60 million, Euro, or... They're happy to wait until June 2025 and sign Lenny Yarrow as a free agent. Uh, ben Jacobs then speaking about the situation said, Madrid, United, Liverpool and Paris Saint-Germain all want Lenny Yarrow. All four clubs view him as a generational talent. Feeling is still that Lenny Yarrow will end up at Real Madrid and talks are progressing. Uh, Liverpool prepared to pay a similar amount to Manchester United, but only if Yarrow changes his mind. So that's kind of where we're at with Lenny Yarrow. And I still don't understand it. I still don't understand how we're still waiting around. Everybody knows what's going to happen. He's going to end up at Real Madrid. So us United and everybody else are just wasting our time, in my opinion. A little bit more on Rio Namoha, that youngster from Chelsea that we spoke about yesterday. Uh, Liverpool are ready to complete this move now. And Fabrizio Romano believed that it will happen this week. It is a massive get for Liverpool. This kid looks like the real deal. It might be 
be a year or two, maybe even longer before we see him tearing up the Premier League and the first team. But it is a great piece of business for Liverpool Football Club with an eye to the future. Now, for the big news of the day. The breaking news today is that FSG have had a meeting and are in talks to buy Bordeaux of France. Not the whole area of Bordeaux, not the winemaking region, just a football club. Uh, former Liverpool player is currently, Albert Riera is currently their, uh, their head coach. But it's believed that they aren't going to be looked at as a feeder club for Liverpool. At least that's what the Bordeaux president doesn't want to happen. They want them to be a club in their own right. And apparently FSG have every intention of running it like that. If you cast your mind back to when this initially broke, that FSG were bringing in Michael Edwards and we're looking to go to the multi-club model. I did say to you guys, in my humble opinion, I would expect it to be a club in Portugal or France that they ended up buying. And it's no surprise to me that they're looking at Bordeaux. Um, let me know your thoughts on this one. I haven't yet seen a price mentioned as to what FSG could have to pay. But that would then mean that they've got Liverpool, they've got Bordeaux, they've obviously got the Boston Red Sox, they've got uh, Fenway Racing, they've got a couple of other bits and pieces as well. They've got the Pittsburgh Penguins and they could be at the table for the NFL, or excuse me, NBA franchise if that comes up in the future. All this, of course, on top of FSG's investment in golf. And you start to wonder... Are we a priority? Are we actually going to get the best of FSG's talent? Because that's what worries me here. When we look to the past, we always knew that Liverpool were very well stocked on that side of things with FSG's talent. Now, that talent seems to be getting a little bit more spread out, but we do have Michael Edwards, so I guess that makes it all a little bit better. I don't know how everybody feels about the multi-club ownership model. I don't really mind it too much, as long as it doesn't interfere with Liverpool's business in the transfer market, their ability to attract the best players, and of course, the backing for the manager, which is what the most important thing is in this window for me. It looks as if right now, Arne Slot is just assessing his backroom team and, of course, those players who've reported back for pre-season training. Johnny Heidegger looks like he's moving closer as well to joining that backroom staff. He did depart West Ham in the summer, or excuse me, last season when David Moyes departed as well. He wasn't kept on as part of Julian Lopetegui's team, so he is free and available, making it hopefully a fairly easy deal for Liverpool to confirm and get Johnny Heidegger in as part of Arne Slot's backroom staff as a first-team coach. Of course, Many of you will remember him from his time at Everton and Ajax as well. But as long as Arne Slot gets the team he wants together, I'm fine with that. So, my friends, that is where we're at today. Let me know your thoughts on everything I've spoken about, whether it's FSG, excuse me, whether it's FSG's taking over of Bordeaux, whether it's the Lenny Euro situation, of course, the wide forward that we've been linked to in Kareem Adeyemi and a few others as well. Love to know your thoughts on all of it. I will have another news video coming out a little bit later tonight. Probably expected to drop just after those Euro semi-finals finish. So maybe just after 10 o'clock unless, of course, it goes to extra time. Also, last shout as well. We're a couple of weeks away now. Well, three weeks away from our live shows in Cardiff and Liverpool. If you'd like to come along to see us. They're all ages events and tickets are priced at just 15 quid. And you can get them with the link in the description. I will let you guys go away and enjoy your evening. And hopefully we, uh, we have some good football to watch over the next day to do make sure you've got your notifications turned on because plenty more content coming your way thank you folks i'll talk to you soon bye bye